Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Supreme Guru and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Google Photos from scratch on your Android phone. So if you're new to Android and you're not quite sure on how to back up your photos and videos, then watch this space. First thing that you need to do whenever you're signing in to Google Photos, before you actually download the app, you need to sign in to Gmail. So if you don't already have a Gmail account, then you would need to set up one. Let me show you the steps. The first thing that you need to do is go to your settings on your Android phone. Once you've got into settings, then you need to scroll down until you see user and accounts. In the user and accounts section, you need to tap add account. Once you're in the add account section, you need to tap on Google and either sign in with your Gmail address or sign up for a new Gmail address. So in this part, because I already have a Gmail address, I'm going to enter my email address. However, if you are new to Android and you don't already have an email address, you will notice in the bottom left hand corner, it does say create account. You would follow the steps and create your Gmail account. So what I'm gonna do now is just sign in to my Gmail. Go to sign in to your Gmail, then it will ask you to accept the terms of service. So I'm just going to tap the agree button down in the bottom right hand corner. And then next, the setting will ask you do you want to back up your apps and so on, your device settings to Google Drive. If I keep this switched on, you can decide what you want to do through this setting. After you've decided, then you just tap the accept button. Now that we have signed in to Gmail, the next thing that we need to do is go to our Google Play Store and look for Google Photos. So let's just hit up the Play Store. So now that we're in the Google Play Store, if you go to the search bar where it says Google Play, tap on that and then search for Google Photos. Now, some of your Android phones may already have this already built into your phone but type in google photos and you will find out whether it's already saved to your phone or whether you need to download it so as you can see here my option says enable so i do already have it pre-installed on my phone but i've just got it disabled at the minute if it says install, then you don't have this on your phone and you would need to tap the install button and install that onto your Android device. So now that I have enabled it, it is asking me to update the Google Photos app, so I'm going to do that first. So now that we are up and running, I'm going to tap the open button and show you how easy it is to start backing up your photos and videos to Google Photos. Let's hit the open button. So what you will be greeted with once you first load up Google Photos is the option to back up and sync. So it will ask you in the bottom do you want to confirm to upload over Wi-Fi only and use the upload size of high quality which does give you free unlimited storage. You can change the settings in here to do it 15 gigabyte of storage which means you don't reduce your quality in photographs. So I'm just going to hit confirm here because I don't really print off my photos and videos that often but I can change that within the settings. So now that I have hit confirm, 
as you can see here it's starting to get my photos and it's going to start backing that up because I am connected to Wi-Fi. Now if you do want to go further into your Google photo settings and back up things like WhatsApp pictures and WhatsApp videos or any other apps that you use, maybe like Facebook or Facebook Messenger, I'm going to show you how to do that just now. So you notice in the top left hand corner there are three lines. So if you tap on these three lines, you want to go right down to where it says settings. And then you also want to go to the backup and sync option, which is the very top option here. So as I was saying, you can back up your WhatsApp pictures and your WhatsApp videos. All you need to do is go to backup device folders. So in here, this shows me the list of applications that I have that have pictures and videos linked to it. What I am going to select is WhatsApp images and WhatsApp video. Once I'm happy enough with my selection, I just need to hit the button in the top left hand corner, which is the arrow button. And in here, I can go to upload size. So I can go to high quality and free unlimited storage, which means I will never run out of storage for photos and videos. Now this is a good feature on any Android phone, but you can also apply these settings to an iPhone. The reason for backing up your photos and videos is because you're saving them and you're keeping them safe. So that if anything ever happened to your phone, then you know that your photos and videos are safe. If you did perhaps break your phone and you couldn't get access to your photos, all you would have to do is go to your browser on a laptop or a PC Type in Google Photos, log in with your Gmail and your password and all your photos and videos will show up in the Google Photos website. If you do change phone, all you need to do is sign in with that exact same email address, which is your Gmail address, and then reload up Google Photos and you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give some feedback, give it a thumbs down and let me know what you think. Until next time guys, you have been watching and listening to Supreme Guru. Peace.